first of all, when we, when my boss, who is um, the current di uh, director of division of Allied Health, when she was the chief pharmacist, she envisioned that as pharmacies progresses, we need to be specialists. And we could not be um, stagnated in the way that we practice as we involved uh, in the clinical care of a patient, as we round with the doctors, there will be more things that we need to know and hence there will be this path to uh, a specialist track. So when, the, when it was passed in the parliament for us to have our own specialist uh, tracks registers, um, infectious disease is one of them because at that point in time we have been deemed to have a, a group that is ready. Yeah. So so hence with the act in, of course there will be there will be uh, laws enacted to actually change the uh, some of the prescribing act as well later, which is coming up. So uh, meaning because uh, when we deal with infectious disease um, in details, we know that certain disease state and uh, certain uh, pharmacokinetics and ph pharmacodynamics of uh, patient uh, perspective, we need to employ individualized dosing and not just uh, what the recommended dosing as instructed on the patient information leaflets because uh, this may not apply in a certain subgroup of pa patients. I guess the issue of acceptance is not a problem in general uh, because we have been following rounds quite in, in a very intensive manner and then with the setup of uh, antimicrobial stewardship program so hence the visibility is even made um, more significant because now we have to talk to different uh, individual disciplines of doctors to persuade them to stop the antibiotics or increase doses and whatever not, you know, we are capoing in their care and of course to capo, we need to know enough to capo otherwise we'll be uh, being told off, right? So, hence, and, and I think also because uh, we, we now focus on a multidisciplinary team a diversity of uh, different talents within a team is actually deemed as more uh, productive and of huge benefits to patients currently so that's not a really a huge problem so between pharmacists yes people will be asking us so she's a pharmacist you are also a pharmacist why are you an infectious disease pharmacist and she is just a pharmacist so what's the differences so hence the differences still uh, I would say that it lies in the training a uh, structured training um, in terms of um, pharmacy residency in infectious disease as a PGY2 after your postgrad degree and um, and the number of years of experience that actually qualifies you for that later on uh, that will be all looked at before we qualify you as a specialist pharmacist in infectious disease and of course when you are in the specialist register it will come with certain prescribing rights that you will uh, be entitled to have as compared to a normal pharmacist. Antimicrobial stewardship is, uh, is a program or initiatives that we actually am employed to make sure that antimicrobial prescribing is appropriate and adequate. So we want to make sure those who need antibiotics will get it and those who don't need antibiotics will not get it. The major milestones. Um, I would say um, in rapid diagnostics in certain way where research has uh, progressed and I think most importantly to me personally is uh, an open-mindedness to actually allow interdisciplinary, multidisciplinary team and effort to, to be seen in the forefront in the practice of infectious diseases and in, within that, that team, everybody recognised that they have a part to play in their own specialty to make sure that patient care is actually practiced to the utmost uh, highest level. The, we should always be mindful of possible um, outbreaks because of our open system. 
but it may not, it should not be just limited to viruses because I do see that a huge emphasis is on viruses right now. But I do not say that the virus part is not important, but I would rather uh, say that we give equal emphasis on the bacteria part as well, the, in addition to viruses and uh, other and dengue and whatever not. Because um, the repercussion of resistance of each area, if it ever happens, is huge per se. Yeah. In terms of uh, economic benefits, number one, other than just mortality. Um, hence, I would like to see that uh, our government will be more hard on this perspective and, um, and I also look forward to a greater uh, collaboration efforts among the infectious disease team comprising of, of course, microbiologists, uh, infectious disease physicians and us infectious disease pharmacists working together close knitedly in a team. I'm looking at in terms of regulations and rather than giving carrots and sticks, which right now I don't see any stick system in, I would like to see the sticks in the system. I say if people, if medical professionals actually, actually uh, bleach the infection control uh, measures or have used antibiotics indiscriminately, I would rather the government come down and slap on their wrist. Infectious disease in Singapore, actually I've come to realise that we are not, even though despite that we are just a little red dot, but the kind of resistance that we see here in this country is actually of what we have seen in the world because of our um, tourism efforts and uh, open system of immigration. So, if, in fact, if you want to do uh, good research here, there is no doubt that there is quite a bit here as well if you do want to, there's no lack of it. Um, also, in terms of um, new pharma, pharmaceutical efforts, I think the government is already doing, doing good enough efforts to bring these people in, but I'm not sure uh, how we can actually improve or help the farmers to uh, decrease the cost of uh, developing new antibiotics. But I guess this one has to uh, be done in conjunction with all the different countries' government, not just ours. And I, well, I would like to see that most, most importantly, the hearts and the minds of uh, all healthcare professionals practicing in infectious diseases progressing to actually curb um, the spread and uh, antimicrobial resistance in a, in a, in a one-hearted manner, close-knitted manner, and with open-mindedness. That's, okay. that's what I want to see because that is the major ingredient to uh, success for curbing resistance.